to have you guys on today. Lori, Mike, Julie, as always, on the Zoom. I'm uh, going to give people about a minute to log on to Facebook. We always have uh, three, four, five people. Oh, man. A lot of snow this week. A lot of snow. Hope everybody stayed safe. Uh, stayed inside for the most part. I heard the interstates aren't bad, but uh, the neighborhood roads around here are pretty bad. Paula, what's up? Elizabeth, what's up? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday does mean core strength and conditioning. It's a, uh, it's a damn good workout today. A lot of moving, moving. Need no weights, no dumbbells. All you will need is you and your britches, baby. You and your britches. Love body weight workouts. There's no such thing as scaling to a lighter you. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta deal with what you got. You gotta deal with what. That always makes me feel strong too. You know, controlling your body, being in control of all of your movements. All right, let's go ahead and do this thing. I don't want to talk too much. Uh, the first exercise of our strength or, or uh, core conditioning workout warm-up rather, is a Russian twist. So on your rear end, I want, if you can, all 10 fingertips on the left side, all 10 fingertips on your right side. We're gonna go for 20 seconds in two, one, let's go. Oh, big turn, guys, big turn, oh, big turn. Chin tracks with chest, guys, shoulders all the way to the left, shoulders all the way to the right. I need to keep your heels together as much as possible, too. Oh, less than 10. Find a warm up pace, guys. Elevate your heart rate. Three, two, one. On your feet. Oh, we did a bunch of these on Monday. Just some in the warm up. I need ice skaters, guys. On this one, it's going to be rep based. So I do want you to count right foot only. Every time your left hand touches your right foot, counts as one. Give me 12 of them. Go, 12 of them. Two. Four. Six, uh, seven, nine, low enough to touch your toe, 10, 11, uh, boom, very good. Next exercise, this is a power plank, guys. Power plank, so it starts out in high plank position. I want you to jump your toes as far up to your wrist as possible, back into a high plank position. Every time you return to that high plank, give your core a nice tight squeeze, 20 seconds, Go, go. Alexa, play music for my Apple Music. Over halfway. In five. In two. One. And breathing, guys. Breathing. Last exercise, I want 10 sit ups. Knock them out. Whatever sit ups you choose, guys. Oh, kiss your knees at the top. Oh. If you have straight, if you decide to do a straight leg setup, feel free to do so, but touch your toes at the top. Boom, oh, I just need 10 setups. I got a seven. I got eight. As soon as you are done, uh, actually you can stay right where you are because we're gonna get right back into a Russian twist, guys. A little less explaining, a little more aggressive this round. Second round of the warm up, Russian twist. 20 seconds. Go. 20 seconds, go. Bang. Big turn, guys. Ugh. Chin tracks with chest. That means look all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Once again, if you can touch all 10 fingertips to either side of me, that just further ensures that you are uh, obtaining full range of motion in your lumbar spine. You're fully activating obliques. Three, two, one. Ice skaters, 12 of them, right foot only. Let's get a little bit more aggressive laterally. I want you to be a little bit more explosive. I do understand it's just the second round of the warm up. Eat up a little bit more ground than you did previously. I got seven, eight. I got nine power planks as soon as you are done. I've got 11, drop and do power planks. If you're there already, get them. Boom. We're going 20 seconds. Time starts right now. Boom. Alexa, play workout music. Boom. Boom. 10 down, 10 left. What song is this? 
in five, in two, one, sit-ups, ten of them, go, ten sit-ups, guys, ten sit-ups, uh, get it, Julie, get it, Beth, I got six, kiss your knees, baby, I got eight, as soon as you're done, just relax, because we're going to get right back into that, boom, rest and twist, ooh, Give everybody a couple seconds to finish. Russian twist in three, two, one. Let's go. Last round of this thing, guys. Big turn, big turn. Give me a little bit more aggressive pace, guys. The most aggressive pace that you've given me on a Russian twist thus far. Boom. It's the third, uh, third round of the warm up. Should feel real good, real athletic. Keep your heels together. Big turn. In three, two, one, 12 ice skaters, right foot only. Ice skaters, right foot only. Explosive laterally. I got six, I'm halfway. Power planks when you're done. I got 10. Uh, power planks, guys, power planks, get it right into them. Right into them. Whew. 20 seconds starts now. Find a pace for your rhythm, pace for your breathing, or pace for your exercise, rather, pace for your breathing. Remember, every time you jump back into the high plank position, core gets a tight squeeze, less than 10. Four, two, one. Sit ups, guys, 10 of them, knock them out. 10 sit ups. Ugh. Kiss your knees, baby, kiss them. I got four, as soon as you are done, feel free to grab a quick drink. Six, I'll explain our workout. I got nine, Mike, finish, Julie, finish, Elizabeth. Boom. Whoa. Finish, guys, finish, finish, finish. Ooh. Oh man, that's good. That's a good warm up. That feels like feels like core strength and conditioning. All right. Uh, here's what we are doing. Two two reoccurring sets of this week. We've got an EMOM and an eight exercise drop set. An EMOM is an acronym for every minute on the minute. That means I've got a set for you that we start at the top of every minute. Uh, this. Uh, I got three exercises for you. Now, a little bit different uh, rep count here today. A little bit different rep count. I want eight of the first exercise, and then 12 of the next, and 12 of the last. So eight, 12, 12. Hopefully you'll get that done within about 40 to 50 seconds, which will give you 10 to 20 seconds of uh, re recovery before the top of the next minute. Okay, here's what the exercises are. I want eight burpee, no push up so hit the ground, kick out, thumbs above, ears to finish. All right, that's eight burpee no push-ups. Soon as you are done with that, I want V-ups or V-sits, 12 of them. So V-up is where your back comes off the ground and you meet your toes over your hips. Uh, if you need to scale that to a V-sit, by all means do so. Just give me full extension on the bottom, kiss your knees up top. And finally, the last exercise, I need you on your feet, and I need 12 high knees, right knee only, just like we counted that Ice skater, uh, right foot only. This is one, two, three, four, five, only counting my, every time my right knee punches. So uh, we'll do 12 of those. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through this first round, but we are doing this five times, guys. Five times. We've done four previously, uh, Monday, Tuesday, five today. Right now, burpee, no push up, eight of them in. Two, one, let's go. Whew. Eight, burpee, no push up, followed by 12 V ups or V sit. I got five, I got seven, I got eight V up V sits, 12 of them, followed by 12 high knees. I got eight, 10, 11, boom, high knees guys, 12 right now, we go. Two, four, eight, ten, eleven, boom, 
very good. Very good, we got a little bit less than 15 seconds. Take a little bit of a breath. Not too bad this first round, but obviously we're gonna uh, do this five times. It's gonna get to be a lot. Five seconds. Three, two, eight. Burping, no push up, go. Explode off the ground. I got five. I got seven. Boom, on your butt. Be up, be set, 12 on High knees, boom, 12 high knees. ground is going to go a little bit harder. If you need to scale the reps on any exercise, feel free to cut two reps down. In two, one, eight of them. Burn me no push-up. Go. Third round here. I got four. I got seven. I got eight. V up or V sit, 12 of them. Finish up Mike Greco. Five. Ten. Boom. That's three down. We got two left. Less than ten seconds, guys. Less than ten. Take some recovery breaths. Five seconds. In three. Eight burpees in two. One. Go. Oh my gosh. Four set, baby. Four set. I got five, seven, eight, V up, V sit. Good Lord, Pereka, that's it. Get up, Elizabeth. Come on, Paula. Six. Fully extend if you're doing V sits. Ten, eleven, high knees, guys. Get them up. Two, six, eight, nine, eleven, boom, very good. Oh my gosh, we got about ten seconds, guys. Last time through this thing. Remember, this is the last set, nothing afterwards, so you can take your time a little bit if you need to. Three, two, one, eight of them, go. I got four. I got six, seven, V-ups. I got 10, I got 11, bang. High knees guys, high knees. Finish, holy smokes. Two, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Grab a drink. Grab a drink. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, not as bad as leg day. But my heart is definitely, definitely elevated. All right. Woo. Next exercise, our next uh, set. This is an eight exercise drop set. So we're going through this thing three times. Uh, the, drop, the nature of a drop set is the greatest amount of volume is in the first set, a little bit less in the second, and even less in the third. Now, kind of unique here is we are going to do alternating time and rep interval uh, for the exercises. So, uh, so, uh, the, uh, the time interval 
exercises. First round is going to be 45 seconds, 40 on the next, 30 on the last. The rep intervals is going to be 16 for the first, 12 for the second, and 10 for the last. Like I said, we're alternating time and reps anyway, uh, as well. Okay, first exercise. This is going to be for time. This is now, you guys all know what a ground to ceiling is. That's all 10 fingertips, test the ground, test the ceiling. We're gonna add a little something to say double ground to ceiling. So it's like a pulse at the bottom. I want you to touch, touch, ceiling. Ground, ground, ceiling. Ground, ground, explode. So I want you to feel this a little bit in your uh, glutes and your hamstrings. 45 seconds, guys, in two, one, let's go. Ground, ground, ceiling. Ground, ground, explode. Really get a high off the ground here. Oh, try to create explosion. Use that second pulse as a load to explode off the ground, guys. Oh, oh man, 15 now. Oh. Oh. oh, we are over halfway. 20 seconds left. Oh, remember, I want a real strong last 10 seconds. 15 down, 15 left rather. And right now, 10 left, 10 left. Give me a bounce at the bottom. Explode, guys. Four, two, one, breathe. Excellent, excellent. Next exercise. This is a butterfly sit up. So, a lot of times we stretch out of this position. I want your, uh, your feet together and your knees are flared out. Just like a butterfly, you're gonna take your hands, touch the ground above your head, touch the ground, above your toes. Butterfly sit-ups, I need 16 of them, guys, go. 16. I got five. Try to put your shoulders between your knees at the top. Seven. Full range of motion here. Eight. I got 10. I got 12, 14, I got 16, I need you on your feet, Ooh, this is a burpee jack, so there's no push at the bottom, it's just a regular kick out, just like any other burpee, but then I want a power jack at the top, if you need to scale that to just a jumping jack, you can do that. This is a time interval, so whatever your pace happens to be, 45 seconds. Two, one, burpee jacks, go. Be explosive at the top. Oh. Boom. We only got 15 seconds down. Holy mackerel. And right now, 15 seconds left, Lori, Mike, Julie. Woo! Come on, Paula. It's conditioning today. Strong last 10 seconds. In five. Two. One. Woo! Woo! Right now, on your backside, thumbs under your hips. I want 16 leg raises, slightly rolling your hips off the top. Bring your heels as close to the ground without touching. 16, go. Quite a bit more oblique, quite a bit more shoulder stabilization. 
45 seconds in two, one, go, go. Turn guys, turn, turn. Oh man, oh. Oh. big turn up top guys, drive your knees. Oh. Obviously the goal here is to stay up for the whole 45, but if you gotta drop one or both knees, take a breath, get back into the thing, that's all right. Also, you can pike your hips for a reprieve for just a second, second and a half, if you need to. 15 left. Woo! 10 seconds. Strong tip. Stay down. Keep your butts down. Butt down, Julie. Three, two, one. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Next one, guys. This is a... Uh, this is a double wiper. So, we're not using dumbbells today, but I'm gonna put up a couple dumbbells just to illustrate this exercise. You don't need dumbbells. A lot of times when we do this, I'll tell you to set up your dumbbells like goal posts, and what you're gonna do is put your uh, heels outside, heels inside, outside, inside. This is reps. I want 16, only count the inside. Go, go, only count the inside. Make big arches with your heels. I got three. I got ten. Twelve. Fourteen. are down to our last two exercises of the set. The first one, this is an isometric extension. What that means is I want you to take a diamond with your thumb and forefinger, extend your elbows above your shoulders, and then you are going to extend your, your knees uh, below your hips. So we're just staying here 45 seconds. Now, if you have to bend your knees for a little bit of reprieve and then get back into the extension, do so. Uh, 45 seconds in two, one, Get them up. Extend your elbows, extend your knees. Whew. Keep your diamond on the ceiling, guys. Diamond on the ceiling. This is just holding. Just holding. Oh my gosh. This is a long interval, guys. A long time to stay here, Mike. We got 15 down. That's it. Keep those elbows locked out, Paula. Keep them locked out. Oh my god, we're halfway. Whew. Right now we got 15 seconds left, guys. Good time for a little bit of a breath. Because I remember, I want that long, that strong last 10 right now. Whoa, get them up. Oh my gosh, I need five. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that burned a little bit, that burned. All right, last one here, guys, is a single leg V-up. A lot of ab exercises here, right in a row. Single leg V-up, that's ideally your heels are off the ground and you're meeting uh, your toe over your hips. If you need to scale by dropping your heels, feel free to do so. I need 16, go. Last exercise of the set. I got 10, oh my gosh. 13, 14. 15, boom, wow, all right, all right guys, we are going to do that again, this set is going to be a little bit more aggressive as there is less explaining more doing, but each timed interval is going to drop by 5 seconds, and uh, each rep interval is only going to be 12, all right, let's start with that double ground to ceiling, ground to ground ceiling, 40 seconds, 3, 2, 1, Go. Remember that second, that second drop, uh, that second pulse, boom, acts as a load for your explosion off the ground. Boom. Really touch the ceiling, guys. Really get up there. Create explosion. Push through your heels, jump off your toes. 20 down, 20 left. Less than 15. 
strong 10, strong 10 seconds. Get up. I want 12 butterfly sit-ups. As soon as we're done here, five, two, one, butterfly sit-ups, 12 of them go. Oh, oh man. Touch the ground in front of your toes, guys. Really reach. I got seven. Nine. I got 11. Burpee, power jacks, guys. Burpee jacks. I'm gonna get everybody this. just a second to finish. All right, here we go in three, 40 second burpee jack. Two, one, let's go. Kick out at the bottom, power jack at the top. Whoo! Oh, oh, big time explosion at the top. 20 down, 20 left. Oh my gosh. Oh. As soon as we're done, I want 12 leg raises. 10 seconds left. Oh. Ha. Oh. Three, two, one. Leg raises, 12 of them. Go, slight roll off of your hips at the top. Heels come pretty close to the bottom. At the bottom. <laughs> I got four. I got ten. I got eleven. I got twelve. Oh my gosh. Forty second. Twisting climber, guys. In three, two, one, go Mike, go Lori, go. Big turn at the top. Opposite knee drives the opposite elbow. No choice but to keep your core tight on this one. You got no choice. Find the pace you can maintain, an aggressive pace. You can maintain rhythm for your breathing. Rhythm for your breathing. 20 down, 20 left. Whoo. Whoo. Really drive them, guys, really drive them. Oh my gosh. I need 10. Oh my gosh. In five, finish. Three, two, one. Woo! I need that double wiper, guys. Remember, count only the inside, I need 12 of them. Oh my gosh. When are you ready? As soon as you're ready. Double wipers. Oh. Oh man. Four. The rhythm here is like bouncing your heels off the ground without actually touching. I got seven. Nine. Ten. As soon as you're done, just hang out right where you are. Boom. Oh my gosh. Because we're going to get to that 40 second. Isometric extension. In three, two, one, get them up. Diamonds up, heels out. Diamonds up, heels out. Yeah, I gotta hold this one, Paula. Hold it, Elizabeth. Julie. Oh, if you gotta grab your knees, do so before you set your heels down. Number one goal is don't set your heels on the ground. Number two is stay extended for as long as possible. We're over halfway. Oh my gosh. Who? Oh. I need 10 seconds, guys. Strong 10 right here. Strong 10 right now. Keep those elbows straight. Come on, Elizabeth. I need five. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need 12 of them, guys. Alternating V ups. Go. Drop your heels if you need to. I need 12 of them. Oh man. Oh my gosh, I got seven. Oh, I had to take a break at seven. 
I got 10. I got 11. Boom. Whoa. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a break, guys. Like 30, 30 seconds ish. Grab some water. Oh. Remember, the goal here is to breathe hard, but the goal is also to knock out effective repetition. So sometimes you got to take a little bit of a breath, a little bit of a breathe, grab a little bit of water. Oh, man. Here's a little something about getting some water, too, because, you know, it's kind of like an old school thought. You know, no water, no water through a workout, right? We've all heard that. We've all been there, right, in years past. But you're, in order to break down fat, your cells actually use a, a process called uh, fat oxidation. And you need water to complete fat oxidation. So it's actually better for fat burning and calorie burning to be hydrated. And that actually goes for, uh, for weight loss and fitness in general. The better hydrated you are, the better your body works. Imagine that. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's get to this, uh, let's get to this third set. Remember, the rep intervals are going to go to 10, and the time intervals are dropping all the way to 30. So this is going to be really flipping quick. I need a 30-second pace. Double ground is filling in. Two, one, go. Bang, bang. Whoa. I want you as high off the ground as you've gotten today. Boom. Get up, Elizabeth. Get up, Mike. Burn. Oh. Ah. 15 seconds now. 15 seconds left. Whew. Soon as we are done, I need that butterfly sit up and I need 10 of them. Less than 10. Four, three, two, one. Butterflies. 10 of them. Go. Oh, touch the ground above your head, touch the ground in front of your toes. Seconds. 
30 seconds. Once again, this is a static exercise or an isometric exercise, but still find a rhythm for your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. That's what works for me. 15 down, 15 left. Deep breaths as you can muster in this position. 10 left, get them up. Extend them. Five, four, finish strong. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Last exercise, guys, is that single leg knee up. I just need 10 of them. Beat the set, go. Beat it. Six. Eight. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. Ah, feels good to be done with that. Feels real good to be done with that. Woo. Okay, we got a little bit of time left, baby. That is by design. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through that EMOM again. Uh, but, uh, as we've done this week, we're gonna cut it down. I'm gonna cut it down to 40 seconds. Um, so it's every 40 seconds on the, on the second. Um, but I'm also cutting the reps down. We're cutting everything down by two. So that means I only want six burpee no push up. I want 10 V ups and 10 high knees. I can tell you right now, we'll have quite a bit less recovery time. We won't have that nice 10, 12 seconds in between. It'll be more like five. But it's fewer reps, and we're only going through three times as opposed to five. So let's land this plane, guys. I want burpee no push up. Six of them in two, one, let's go. Four, I got five, 10 V up or V sit. 10 V up or V sit. I got eight, nine, high knees guys, 10 of them, 10 of them. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, bang, very good. Five seconds, I need burping up push up. Three, two, one, let's go. Six of them, guys. Four, five, get those thumbs above the ears. Six, V up or V sit, 10 of them. It's time for some more abs. 
All right, this first exercise, guys, I want you to split your legs, put some space between your, uh, your heels. I want you to uh, split leg sit-ups, which means touch the ground above your head, and then touch the space between your, your heels, guys. I need 12 of them. Go, 12 of them. Oh my gosh, what a workout. Ugh. I got six. Eight. Keep your heels on the ground, guys. Nine. I got 11 finish. Boom, excellent. Next exercise, this is a static V-up. Static V-up. So, uh, we just did a, a shit ton of V-ups, guys, right? That's, or even V-sits, that's where you bring your back off the ground. In a static V-up, you're keeping your back on the ground. You're fully extending at the bottom, keeping your heels off the ground, but then you're just bringing your diamond to your shins. So your back actually stays on the ground the whole time. I need 12 static V-ups, go. Two. Think about touching the ground with the back of your palms. Four. The goal here is full extension at the bottom. Six. exercise guys this is a, uh, a falcon sprinter so if you think about like a, a sprinter's crunch right meets a a Russian twist so what that means is opposite elbow opposite knee we're full extending but it's really not nearly as fast as that uh, as a sprinter's crunch and we're in the same position as you would be for a Russian twist all right here we go two one 20 seconds guys this is a much more controlled motion uh, also, much more emphasis on really turning your shoulders, just like you would in a Russian twist, trying to uh, obtain full range of motion in your lumbar spine. Oh my gosh, five, three, two, one, breathing. Split leg sit ups, 10 of them this time, go. 10. Uh, uh, I got two. party time in three two one relax guys let's uh i want you to grab your knee and stretch against this is almost exclusively a lower back and oblique stretch right here 
What I want you to think about is every time you exhale, fall a little bit deeper into this stretch. Four, two, one, and relax, guys. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. I can tell you we're going to stretch some hip flexors tomorrow. Oh, same thing. Every time you exhale, fall a little bit deeper into the stretch. Relax your lower back. Three, two, one, and relax. Last thing I've got for you, this is quick stretch of the day. I want you to lean forward, same thing we started with. Uh, this time I want you to grab more toe than you did previously. In five, in three, two, one, and breathe in guys, breathe in. Oh man, what a great workout. What a phenomenal workout today. Today's inspiration motivation is all about action, right? comes in the form of a, I got a couple different quotes for you. The first one is from Thomas Jefferson. It says, if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. Whoa. I actually, that reminds me of another quote that I don't even know who said it. I don't remember where I heard it from, but it says, uh, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. <laughs> you know, so if you want different re results, you got to do something different, baby. Let's go action. Got to take action. That's the bottom line. In three, two, one, action. Bra! Great workout today, guys. A lot of fun tomorrow. It's full body strength. Until then, take action. Do something different. Get out of your comfort zone. Bang. Peace.